the Korean War is often dismissed as America's forgotten war. Unlike World War II, it did not capture the nation's attention. There was no Pearl Harbor bombing to threaten the United States' national security. Nor did the Korean conflict arouse the divisive controversy of the war in Vietnam. In the 1950s, the American people were not inclined to demonstrate against the government. Instead, they largely ignored the Korean War while it was being fought. But it was not an insignificant conflict. The brutality of the three-year war had long-lasting military and political ramifications. Unfortunately, the lessons of the Korean War seemed virtually ignored as the United States entered Vietnam a decade later. For hundreds of years, Korea was dominated by China, its giant neighbor to the north. By the end of the 19th century, the Chinese Empire had lost much of its military power. The Jutting Peninsula would then become the target of Russian expansion, though by the turn of the 20th century, Imperial Japan had reached across the Sea of Japan to gain control of Korea. In August 1945, when the United States dropped its first atomic bomb on Hiroshima, the surrender of Japan to the U.S. and its allies seemed inevitable. Almost simultaneously, the Soviet Union also declared war on Japan and sought to coordinate an invasion of Korea with the American forces. The Soviet Union entered Korea from the north and the U.S. invaded from the south. With the Japanese subdued, it was agreed that Korea would be temporarily divided along the 38th parallel line for military and administrative purposes during the waning years of World War II. The United States occupied.